Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled How to Strategically Tap into Your Long-Term Assets. Introducing three long-term assets, ladies and gentlemen, that you definitely should be getting way more production from than you're getting right now. Entrepreneur, this video is going to expose you to at least three long-term assets that more than likely they're either hidden or they're currently underperforming purpose of this video is to plug those profit holes so you make more money with less effort so let's take a look at three long-term assets that are either hidden or currently un underperforming that you definitely deserve to get way more production from here is long-term hidden or underperforming asset number one Entrepreneur, if you currently have an underperforming sales staff and or individual or underperforming sales process as a whole, you're sitting on a potential untapped gold mine. Here's just one asset of that. If your sales staff is a marketing percentage wise to the wrong group of people, your business is underperforming. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about they spend 75 percent of their time trying to get new customers and clients and only 10 percent of their time trying to develop more sales from current clients that's one way your business is underperforming there are many others but that's just one of the simple ones now let's take a look at a short list of five potentially underperforming or hidden assets in your business right now now once you hear this list take a look at your inventory of yourself and your business and make an assessment here's the first one your business cards now you're probably thinking yeah mark I have business cards that's the problem most people have name logo picture phone number maybe a web address and an email completely wrong you should have a direct response type of business card. What are you saying, Mark? Your business card should be a call to action. Now, here's the other thing. If you have sales reps who are marketing a specific product or service, their business card should not be generic. It should be direct response for that particular target base you see how that's different from your competitors and again there should be a call to action what do you say Mark? it should direct them either to a website your lead capture page not your blog that's giving away a free download of a ebook an audio a video mini course a teleseminar you did a webinar something specific that's germane to that audience but here's the real kicker the back side of that business card entrepreneur it should not be blank it should have one of your best market tested offers again an 800 number directing them to something maybe a VIP new customers only call up and they get a 20 for 25 percent to 40 percent discount off their first purchase whatever but it should not be blank now here's the next one that's huge so pay close attention entrepreneur the backside of your flyers think about this that's prime real estate and again is is blank 99 percent of your competitors have a one side flyer here's what you should start doing go out and find between five and ten or more but you know just to uh, be realistic in the beginning because you gotta get your feet wet some may drop off they may not perform the way you think they will but here's the point between five and ten non-competitive businesses that complement yours in other words you two complement each other but you're not directly competing you on the back of your flyer and them on the back of theirs should say because you're a valued customer of X 
you are entitled to a VIP new customer only discount of X from your company. Now stop and think about this. Five businesses have you on the back of their flyer and you are on the back of theirs. You have just multiplied your average uh, viral reach for less money. And again, your competitors don't know to do this. Entrepreneur, that one strategy right there, if you utilize it correctly, is huge. Now, right along with that, think about this. You should be exchanging your dead sales leads with your non-competing business cross-promotion partners. This one's huge. You know, my dead leads, I went as far as I could with them, but they may be ideal for you and vice versa. Entrepreneur, that one strategy right there is huge. Now, to piggyback off of that, you could, if you can't exchange, buy your non-competitors or JV partners' dead sales leads. Offer them so much per lead. Again, it should be something lower than, obviously, what it's going to cost you to convert them. And that's why, in the beginning, you want to commit too much because you don't know who's going to perform and who doesn't, but you definitely got to get your feet in the water. But that's a powerful, powerful strategy. And finally, getting your vendors to finance your marketing. And that, you know what, that's such a, an incredibly powerful strategy. I'm just going to leave it kind of generic. But here's what we're not saying, just so you, you kind of crystal clear. We're not saying they're going to write you a check. But we're saying they have assets that they could lend to you in such a way, strategically, that it's like they're financing your marketing campaign. And again, that should be a whole other video, and I think it will, uh, to really elaborate on that. It's incredibly powerful. Now, Let's take a look at long-term hidden or underperforming asset number two. Entrepreneur, who's consistently answering your phone? Now, if you call 99% of the businesses that have a live person, it's not going directly to an answering service or an answering machine. 99.9% .9 of the time, you get somebody who's extremely pleasant and courteous. Great. But they're not necessarily professional. What do you mean, Mark? I'm not saying they're unprofessional. What I'm saying is because they haven't been trained specifically in what to do, you're letting a ton of potential business slip through your hands. For example, are they gathering contact information from these phone calls for future follow-up purposes, or are they just answering questions? This is how much it costs. These are our hours. Thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. If that's all they're doing, you're losing money. Ladies and gentlemen, part of those first-time phone calls should be directed to one of your lead capture pages. For example, let's suppose somebody calls your company and instead of doing what you've always did, here's one of the questions they ask these people before they hang up. By the way, miss or sir, are you one of our VIP subscribers? Now notice, they didn't say email subscribers. They said, are you one of our VIP subscribers? Now what does VIP what kind of image does that put in your mind? Exactly. So the person says, no, well, you know, what's that about? How do I get that? Oh, it's very simple. Do you have a, a, a pen and pencil? I'll give you, direct you to our website. You get a uh, free coupon that entitles you to this, that, and the other. Or you get them on your, uh, you send them a text message. Same concept. Or, you know, just regular email. But the point is, part of your daily, weekly, monthly, and annual phone calls you should be gathering more names than you are right now. And that way you can strategically and systematically follow up with these people over time and convert more of them to not only repeat, but long-term customers and or clients. And the reason you're not doing that right now is because the person you have answering the phone hasn't been properly trained in how to do this. So therefore, that's an underperforming asset in your business. You change that, and you don't need to do spend more money on advertising. Now, let's take a look at this third long-term hidden or underperforming asset in your business, and that's simply this. Entrepreneur, your expertise is definitely either a hidden or currently underperforming business asset on at least two levels. Here's the first one. You should be personally or group consulting. You've taken the time, put in the effort to develop the skill and knowledge. That's why you're the expert, and that's why people like me turn to you and vice versa. And here's the other thing. 
you should be conducting primarily free to get your name out there free or paid once you get going on or offline seminars and you use the seminar in, in other words the free ones to pre-qualify this group of people and then once you got them pre-qualified in other words the people who actually attend that's the people you attempt to sell and this could be something you do once a month once a quarter and it could also be something you do for your non-competing joint venture partners and or vice versa ladies and gentlemen hopefully you can see with these three simple examples how and why you can and must turn some of your long-term assets from underperforming or hidden to performing how you can add an additional 25 percent more gross profit to your bottom line do so in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients entrepreneur you want that free nine page special report so just head over to you can market online now dot com forward slash sales because that's where you get it as always this is Mark Newsom Mr. Marketing we'll see you again next time on the marketing menu.